not sure why this is not happening. Let's check it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Today is what day? Declaring the promises of God today. And we are now on day 21. Day 21. So today we're going to tackle on uh, yesterday's, which was Sunday's, which is the 20th and the 21st. Because I'm finding that Sundays I'm usually on, um, usually doing things on Sunday that, you know, we usually ch do with life. So today we're going to do two promises. We're going to do the 20th and the 21st. Amen. So let's begin. Let me change my settings one second here because that's what I was listening to was the Ascend the Hill. The Ascend the Hill. I don't know if anybody ever remembers listening to them, but they were amazing. So we're just going to do the Kabod. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. We are 21 days. We're halfway through this. Yes. Amen. We have been declaring the promises of God for 21 days. Hallelujah. And we're almost to the finish line. And praise the Lord for that. Because um, I want to see the whole fullness of it. And so. Um, looking for my Bible. Which I thought was on my desk, but I had something else. And I guess I will use the Amplified version today. All right. We're going to Psalms 27, verse 1. Psalms 27, verse 1. Seven, one. This is a psalm of the fearlessness, the fearless trust in God. Only the fearless trust in God. Amen. Have no fear. Those who have no fear trust in the Lord their God. So Psalm 27, 1. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge and the fortress of my God. Whom shall I dread? Oh, let's go down a little bit. When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my adversities, my enemies, they stumbled and they fell. Though an army encamped against me, my heart will not fear. The war arise against me, even in this I am confident. Praise God. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so therefore no need to fear. God is the light. He is our salvation. He's the one leading us. He is the one that we're taking refuge in. He is our fortress in our life. Anything that comes against us to eat us up will stumble and fall. Even though there's an army that encamps around me, my heart still has no fear, but stands in confidence and boldness that the Lord is with us. Though there might be a war of raging circumstances coming against, against us, we have this confidence that the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. Praise God. We have to build this fearless trust in God. 
that there will be no fear when we trust in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, there is no fear because you know who your, your God is. You know who your God is. When fear comes in like a flood, you have to go back to your word and you have to remind yourself and who the word who the Lord is because he is who he says he is. He's the one that never changes. He is the one that never is moved by circumstances. He is the one that's unmovable, unstoppable, unshakable. That's the kingdom he sits in. And so therefore we have to believe in that and live out of those scriptures. One of my, my one of my favorite parts of this verse is that verse four. The only thing I have acts of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord in His presence all the days of my life, life to gaze upon the beauty, the delightfulness, the loveliness, the majestic ways of the Lord, and to meditate in His temple. I love verse four. We should have this sitting in our hearts that the one thing I've asked the Lord and the only thing I will seek is that I will dwell in the house of the Lord and his presence all the days of my life just to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, his loveliness, his delightfulness, his majestic ways, just to meditate on him in his holy temple. Today's promise is that the Lord is our light. He is our salvation and we should have no fear. Take refuge in. The Lord is our refuge. He is our fortress. He is our life. So therefore, we are not afraid. I love, 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 love Psalms 27.1. And the promise is just that. He will remain to be your light. And he will remain to be your salvation. And because you walk in the light and the salvation of the Lord, you should have no fear. Amen. God is good. He really is. And once you go through his word and you start allowing that to saturate you and, and work your heart. See, it's not about working your mind, but it's about working your heart. Getting your heart to tap into the presence of God is where the battle is. People can get it in their mind, but they can't get it in their heart. And maybe this is the season that we need to start getting things saturated in our hearts. Next, our next promise is going to be in Psalm. Today is a Psalm day. I think every day should be a Psalm day. I think we should have one day of Psalm in our daily devotional, Psalm and Proverbs. One wisdom and one of um, love and wisdom. Get our hearts right. But I say Psalm Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires and petitions of your heart. I'm looking to see if I need to go a little further up. Yep. Go to verse 3. Trust. Rely on and have confidence in the Lord and do good. See how it's funny that the last one said the same thing because I trusted in him, I had no fear. Because I trust, I rely and I have confidence in the Lord and, and, and in the Lord and do good. I dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. We're looking at verse four as the promise, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires and petitions of your heart. Verse 5, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him also, and he will do it. Look at 6, he will make your righteousness, your pursuit of right standing with God, like the light, and your judgment, like the shining of a noonday sun. All this, look at 7, be still before the Lord, wait patiently for him, and entrust yourself to him. Do not fret. Fret means to whine or agonize because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who carries out the wicked schemes. Cease from the anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret, fret which means do not whine or agonize. It only leads to evil. When we whine and become agonized by the ways of the wicked, we also become wicked. For those who do evil will, cut, will be cut off. But those who wait on the Lord, they will inherit the land. All this 
starting the promise is Psalm 37 4 delight in the Lord delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires and petitions in your heart but if you would just take time to read 3 to 9 3 to 9 you can read the whole thing and just let that soak into your heart today it's not only about the promises but it's also about the presence of God it's great that we know we can rely on the Lord's promises, but we need to know that we we are more reliant on his presence leading us. That we are in upright with the Lord. And when we become upright with the Lord, all those things are added on to us. All those things come around us. All those things will surround us. And so therefore delight your delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the kingdom first. Kingdom first and all things will be added on to man. So that is our promises for today. We have Psalm 27 uh, verse 1 and then Psalm 37 4. Take some time and read it to yourself. You know, I, every time I do my promises, I don't give everything. I don't go into a whole devotional set because then I'll be doing the work for you. You know, I just lay them out there. We talk a little bit about it. We have a little discussion. But my end goal of this is to get you to seek out his promise. To get you to, to learn to seek it out for yourself. And let God speak to your heart about his promises. And you'll be surprised at what you'll find. There's always a twofold in a promise. There's always, I'll give you this, but you must do that. So there is a this and that in these promises. And so seek them out as we go. We're on day 21. And we are um, coming close to home run. And I'm hoping that you guys are taking time to look these scriptures over for yourself and be saturated by it. You know, this relationship is between you and him. And we just do our job. Believing and hoping that you would do yours. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you for your word, God, that is so enlightening, that gives breath, that gives us a fresher breath air, that gives us just fruits just juicy fruits god that we can just eat from and lord i thank you god that your word is solid that you are solid lord that who you say you are is unmovable and unshakable and god you are so mighty in all your ways lord and God, I know that right now in this hour, Lord, you have so many things lined up. You have so many things waiting. But you're, you are, are just waiting for the people, God, for your people to turn to you, to seek them out for themselves, God. This is a singular moment, a one-on-one -on -one moment with God. And so, Lord, I just thank you for cleansing for your filters that cleanses our soul and lord i thank you that yes we have our promises but i thank you even more for your presence i thank you even more for your presence that i'm able to feel you the bible says blesses those who, who can who can believe but yet have not seen and the only reason why we believe lord is because we feel and lord we're even today, God, when I was in my car, I even thank you for my senses. For my five senses, God. That in each and every five senses, I'm still able to, feed, to, to discern you through it. Discern you through taste. Discern you through, the, through, the, through my nose. Discerning you through my eyes, through my ears, all my gates. I'm discerning you. I discern through smell. And Lord, I just thank you for that privilege. Because not everyone is in this privilege and though you long and desire for them God get, get our hearts kindled to stay on fire that this is not just for us but it's for the world it's for the world what Jesus did was for the world and so Lord I just thank you God and Lord I ask that you bless the people who are listening that you send a fire to their hearts God an unction into their soul a wooing in their spirit to
to draw near to you, to draw near to you, to draw near to you this season. And so, Lord, I just thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you for your constant guidance, your constant direction, your constant speaking. We are never alone, and we thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. We just bless your holy name. We lift you up as a banner, a higher standard this season for all of us. It's a higher standard for all of us this season, Lord. And so, Lord, we just thank you. And we seal this prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I hope that this blesses you, and we will continue to move forward in the promises of God. Amen. Love you guys. We'll see you guys again. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out how to shut this off. Huh? Mm-hmm.